since I wasn't there, I'm only going to use the word allege. So Rich Dalrymple allegedly spied on a few cheerleaders and he's a peeping Tom guy, according to the news that was released. And not just the four cheerleaders, but he also allegedly spied on Charlotte Jones during the process when the Cowboys were leaping for joy when they drafted Byron Jones. Now, when I look at this report, I must say to you guys, it sounds a little fishy. Nevertheless, the Cowboys did pay $2.4 million to seal this information from the public. And hear me out. There's a super fan that was watching the draft process, and he was the one that reported to ESPN his name is Randy Horton. Uh, that's the news and the information from that report. He said that during the draft, the mighty rich Dow Rempel whipped out his cell phone and he began to take pictures of Charlotte Jones upskirt, like literally taking his phone out while everybody was jumping for joy. Rich was snapping and saying, look at Charlotte Jones goods. And I get it, right? I get it. Rich Dalrymple. Rich Dalrymple has been thrown in front of the bus, not under the bus. He's been thrown in front of the bus. And I'm not defending him. I wasn't there in the room. <laughs> and I don't have access to the information that was given out. Now, supposedly, Randy Horton, he said that that incident happened way before the previous incidents of Rich Dalrymple, who at, a, at the AT&T Stadium went there for in a certain event and he had to use the restroom and he used his key card to go into a room that was occupied of four young ladies with the silver and blue on supporting the Cowboys, cheerleading, jumping up and down, trying to change into their outfits. Now, previously, before he entered that room by accident, the ladies heard someone go, go through the, the doorway there, and they said, hey, hold on, we're changing. We, 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 we're naked, basically. And they heard someone scurry and run off. And a little moments later, they heard another person go through the door by accident, maybe. And they saw that it was, quote unquote, allegedly Rich Dalrymple. What do you know, right? It's like the security guard must have ran and said, hey, Rich, fix this stuff, Rich. You know, I'm, I've am i been busted. I was in there being a peeping Tom or I walked into the wrong room and Rich was like, shoot, let me check this out. Supposedly. Now, Rich said that all of these allegations and accusations are all false. One of the times he did openly admit it and said, yeah, I walked into the room, but I mistakenly walked into the room because I normally use that room for the restroom. Now, if anybody know any of the locations, whether it's Star and Frisco or whether it's down there in Arlington at AT&T Stadium, they got plenty of restrooms throughout. But sometimes when you got to go, you got to go. And if you know your favorite spot, then you go into that favorite spot. Now, by Rich being the PR guy, that opens up many, and I mean many, many room for ambiguity for one. Open up many gray areas for trust because he's the guy that's supposed to Make sure that everything is squeaky clean. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that Rich was 100% innocent of all of these acquisitions or alleged peeping Tom incidents because why would you have to pay $2.4 million, right? And when you have key access, right, it timestamps when you enter a room. And of course, you can rewind the tapes to see what actually happened after you said left the room. And one of the ladies, one of the cheerleaders, it was four of them all together in that room. One was saying, hey, 
when she went to go secure the door, she actually saw Rich with his phone out in his hand, right? And, of course, could he just been walking in through the door? You know, sometimes you're reading up some information, you walk in. Could it be that situation and you look like you're recording the ladies? I get it, right? You know, the beautiful ladies with the silver and blue, with the pom-pom cheerleading for the Cowboys. Could it be that he was going through the door, looking down at his phone, and it appears that he had them on camera or taking a picture? Could it be? Normally, uh, when you look at Rich, he is on his phone. He's always holding his phone. I'm not trying to uh, protect Rich, but normally he's with his phone. And I can only imagine he could be checking Twitter. He could be checking the information from scouts, agents, and beyond. Rich got a lot of things that he have to do to make the Cowboys look like they are in a perfect situation from week to week. That's his job, one of the worst jobs to have, but they probably paid him pretty well. Now, to my knowledge, for those who out there that pretty much got kids, especially little ladies, right, little girls, I don't give a dog how old my daughter is. If I come to find out that a man been, been spying on my little one, right, Oh, I'm not going to keep him around for six years or seven years and beyond. Remember, this incident happened in 2015. That's a long time to have your PR guy hanging around knowing that he captured a picture of your daughter. Because all of this incident and all of this information was presented to the Jones family. Now, what I'm trying to say is. If Jerry Jones and John Stephen Jones, which is the son of Jerry Jones and Jerry Jones Jr. knew that Rich was secretly recording their pretty much one being daughter and one being sister. And he still kept his job. My goodness, what kind of foolery is going on in that front office? Because somebody should have corrected that right on the spot. And that's why I'm I'm looking at this storyline and looking at how everything is being released. And I'm saying to myself, man, this there's a lot of ambiguity going on with this storyline. Hmm. And when I read the report, it's kind of crazy. And what Randy Horton said, he was watching it via the Cowboys website. You know, when they do the war room panned around and and that's only speculations there, right? He can only come to that conclusion by speculation because he's not in that room, right? And he can probably say, yeah, you know, while everybody was jumping around, here's good old Rich Dalrymple recording and snapping, right, under the skirt of Charlotte Jones. So if you guys have access to the 2015 Byron Jones war tape hit me up let me know send me that video and maybe we can do some observation for the nation and see whether or not he was pretty much with his cell phone out taking pictures of you know Charlotte Jones lady parts we, we will find that out right but neither here nor there they supposedly did their investigation and of course they saw nothing egregious or wrong with what Rich Dalrymple did. Now, the $2.4 million, there's nothing to sneeze at. That's a lot of money to pay somebody off, right? So maybe, just maybe, they uncovered some things that we don't really want to talk about, right? <laughs> maybe that's the situation. But why now come out with this information, hmm? So that's the gray area that we have to approach. And on top of that, Cowboy Nation, how do you guys feel about all of this information that's being leaked out? Because this paints a picture that the front office, they got a lot of things that's going on that's on the bad side, the negative side. And they're going to have to have a mighty PR guy. And I don't know if Wilkerson guy, uh, the new PR guy, I don't know if he's billed for it, but I'm quite sure. Man, 
in those billable hours that he's going to send to Jerry Jones. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He won. Now, on top of that, why really did Rich Dow Rempel retire? Now, he said it had nothing to do with this allegations and alleged salacious information that's going off and going on throughout the media. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. I need to know. We want to know, baby, because this, this is the Dallas Cowboys, and they're going to talk about this. Not today, because they just reading up, doing all of their information. But tomorrow, in the weeks to come, they're going to be talking about this for sure. I will post the transcript uh, in one of the community tabs. I really appreciate you. Be sure to hit that like, share the content, and let a friend or a neighbor know where to go when they want to tune in to Cowboy Sports Talk and beyond. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Fix this stuff, Rich. You got to fix it. You do at this point. Woo! You in trouble, trouble, troublesome news, right? But Rich, Rich pretty much saying, hey, you know, that happened years ago, man. I, I'm free, baby. I don't even work for the organization no more. And we paid y'all $2.4 million anyway. So they had, I had nothing to do with that. But I can write a tell-all book and really put some people in some hot seats. Because hmm? you know that tell-all book. Ooh.